deadliest thing in sight. Matter of fact. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love Wu-Tang, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now, today we're going to be talking about Wu-Tang and American Saga, Season 2, Episode 4. This is the recap. Now, I'm going to try my best to go over all the key points. If I miss anything, you guys let me know down below. Now, the title of the episode is called Pioneer the Frontier um, the description of the episode reads, RZA makes a risky move to squash old beef. So those are the key elements of this episode. And this is the episode that took place in one scene only, pretty much. Not necessarily one scene, but one um, place, which was the ferry boat. And a lot of different things happened. So we're just going to go over some of those things that we saw in this episode Make sure you check out my episode one, two, and three recaps if you have not seen them. But let's get into it. Your boy Bobby is trying to squash all this beef with his boys. And man, it was a tough journey to get this to happen. Now, we knew eventually he was going to do this. He had to do this in order to get this group together. This is the only way in his eyes that he can make this happen. By having them come on his boat, they don't know who's going to show up. I mean, everything is pretty much by surprise. So, Shy, he's on the boat. Your boy Dennis is on the boat. And you already know the beef that they got. Once they saw each other, it was on. Um, of course, they did not like this at all. They were both pissed off at Bobby that he would even do this. He would even consider that these two could squash anything. It's a lot of bad blood, right? A lot of bad blood. We saw what happened in season one. So, of course, that same energy is getting carried on in this season. Of course, your boy Shy, he gets pissed off and he walks off. Has to cool himself down. Of course, Bobby has his brother Divine on this boat. And he needs his help to bring everybody together. But it's not going to be easy. Now, Divine was cool. I mean, he really did help out getting this whole strategy together but at the same time bobby did not tell divine that power was going to be on this boat as well which pissed him off because he's like man i got issues with this dude you didn't tell, tell me he was going to be on this boat and dennis was pissed off as well because you already know the issues that they had last season so of course this is just going to create more issues trying to get everybody together i mean the way this is all put together, man, your boy Bobby definitely did a whole lot to get this to play out. And of course, Dennis is not happy to see Power at all. But I will say this, Power was on there trying to get things to work. He was putting all that stuff in the past. Even though he had some beef with Dennis, he still wanted to put this in the past because he was trying to focus on business and actually try to do something within this music thing. Now, Divine, he is questioning Bobby. He's like, man... I don't know if this is going to work. I mean, do you actually think these guys are going to come together and have this meeting? Um, the way it's looking, it's not looking too good. So what do you want me to do? And Bobby has to tell him, look, let's stick to the game plan. Continue to try to talk to Dennis. He'll try, of course, to get shy on board. But we got to continue this whole game plan to get everybody to come together. Now, shy, he is calling power out. He is telling him, did you forget about what happened at the store with your parents and Dennis, him pulling out the strap. Did you forget all of that? I mean, what's wrong with you? And of course, Power has to tell him, and no, he has not forgot nothing. He has a long memory and that this, you know, meeting is strictly business. That's all it's about. You know what I'm saying? It's business only. But you can tell that, you know, your boy Power, he's really trying to think of other ways to make money y'all saw in the last episode when he was on that bus y'all saw his interactions with moot and you can tell just by his demeanor that really hit him and he's like man i gotta think of other ways to get money because it's just a matter of time before i end up dead or in jail and he told bobby when bobby popped up on that bus to stick to music and that's what bobby took in consideration and said you know what i can definitely use power within this organization now of course your boy, Shy, and he is strapped. He is strapped and ready to go. We know Power got his strap just in case something goes down. But you can just tell that they're not taking any chances at all. Even though it's a meeting, it's supposed to be all positive. They're willing to go to war if they got to on his boat. Now, Bobby has a conversation with Power, of course. 
You know, Power is telling him this is just business. Of course, Bobby explains the reasonings why he could use Power. He has a lot of respect on the streets. I mean, you got to have a guy like this that you can use in your music organization. A lot of different artists, they do this. So having Power a part of the organization will give them respect. A lot of people will give them that respect when, of course, they are in town or certain areas. You need somebody like Power around. And Power understands his time is running out. He does have to make a choice on what he really wants to do as far as his future. Now, your boy Dennis, he's very paranoid, y'all. He is thinking that Shy and Power is trying to get him. I mean, this dude just got shot, right? So, of course, him being paranoid should be no question. And he's not trying to take any ch chances. So, of course, he meets up with the guy that was selling all these different products, those tapes. Um, and he said, you know what? I got to get me a strap because these guys, they carrying around straps. They probably plotting and planning, trying to get me. So I got to make sure I'm ready just in case something goes down. Now, the guy that he got this stuff from, of course, this dude was spitting knowledge to these guys all episode long, spitting straight up knowledge. He told him, look, I'm a businessman. You know, I'm able to sell stuff to people that they don't want. You know what I'm saying? So he was really spitting knowledge to Bobby. He was spitting knowledge to Dennis and, of course, Divine as well. And I believe Bobby did use some of the information he got from this guy. He used that to get his boys together um, later on in the episode. Now, Dennis, he's not playing around. He says, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and handle business right now. And I'm thinking like, man, dude, you got a kid back in Ohio. What are you doing? Like, you really about to go to war right here on this boat? I mean, I guess he wasn't really thinking about his future at this particular moment. Now, of course, Divine has to come up and tell him he needs to chill out. Dennis starts to talk about how he used to be Divine's right-hand man before he got locked up and things kind of changed and how loyal he really is. And of course, Divine is like, well, speaking of being loyal and all the things that you say that you do, what about you, you know, messing with my sister? And this is what I, you know, I was waiting for. Bobby didn't really react to it like that. He kind of accepted the fact that um, of course, Dennis was clapping his sister's cheeks, but Divine, I already knew he's going to be upset about this. Of course, your boy Dennis is upset. He's like, okay, so you said I'm not good, you know, for your sister and pretty much just walks away. Now, I knew Divine will bring this up. He was not going to allow that to happen. I think the main fact is he doesn't like that. Of course, your boy Dennis went out and messed with his sister and no one knew about it did it behind their backs that's what he didn't like about that now divine is able to go have conversation with power they squash any little beast that they had and i had a feeling that it was not going to take them that long to do that seeing that they're older more mature and they're both trying to do business and understand that you can't continue to live this street lifestyle um without getting into any type of trouble or wind up back in jail or dead now, this intercom had me cracking up because really it's Bobby's internal thoughts, but it's pretty much telling him, dude, like you're not going to be able to get D-Love to listen to you. What are you doing? You're running out of time. Like you need to do something to get these guys together and listen to you. Had me cracking up in this episode. Now, Bobby's finally able to get all these guys to come up and have a meeting with the help of, of course, Dennis in power. Those two old heads pretty much helped bring this all together because if Bobby did not have them, I don't know if this was going to work. Now, as soon as they all meet up, we already know that Shy and Dennis, they hot heads, man. These two hate each other. They have very strong beef. Um, they're arguing. These guys are about to go to war right here on this boat, you know, reaching for their guns. Bobby, of course, has to just step in and tell everybody to shut up and just listen because, man, it wasn't looking too good, man. These guys was definitely about to throw down on this boat. Now, once Bobby is able to calm everybody down, he explains why he wants everybody to join together within this group, Wu-Tang. And of course, he does an excellent job by breaking this down. A very excellent job. Um, pretty much tells him he needs everybody. He has love for everybody. That Noah built the ark. And of course, he had everybody a part of that boat that he built all his friends and of course they avoided the flood and this is what he wants his his boys to do to avoid 
the flood. And he pretty much just went around telling everybody why he chose them and why, you know, he wants them to be a part of this organization. We know that Divine is a felon, right? It's going to be very hard for him to go out there and get a job. He's not going to get a lot of chances from people. So, you know, Bobby understands that the, that Divine is very good within business and he knows a lot of knowledge about that. So he will be great for this organization. You know what I'm saying? The way Bobby broke all of this down was very good. Broke it down so well. Of course, he talked about your boy Shy, talking about he's his ace, very good and talented. Um, of course, we know this dude can spit flat out. He can spit those flames on that mic. And these guys have been friends for so long, so long. And Bobby wants to bring him a part of this journey. Um, he also talks about your boy Power and tells him, look, you don't want to be dead or in jail, but selling drugs, living that lifestyle, eventually that's what's going to happen to you. So why don't you come and, you know, help out with this organization? Use that street career that you got. You know what I'm saying? That power that you got to get respect from everybody within the organization. And Power understands this. He knows his time is running out. This is the reason why he hopped on that boat in the first place he needs another outlet he needs another opportunity to build his future um and of course he did talk about dennis as well says he's his ace boom coon and that he needs him and he loves them all at the end of the day bobby understands once everybody is able to come together they're going to become very strong as one i mean he did a good comparison of you know dennis and shy earlier on in the episode talking about one of them is jet lee the other is clint eastwood i mean two fire actors right you bring them together make them one team they're gonna kill it you know what i'm saying they're gonna kill it so that's what he wants to do within this organization he wants to bring everybody together everybody got different talent you know he did comparisons as far as music everybody needs to come together as a, you know with a good harmony and you know if that's able to happen they're going to succeed and do great things the life that they was living before it cannot continue to happen because if it does it's just not going to work and this time around bobby is not making the same mistakes he did in season one he's not doing that this time around he's going to bring his boys with him but he's going to have a good foundation he's going to have all these different talents and skills together as one um he did talk about your boy odb and said that he's pretty much the secret weapon he's you know He's at the bottom of the jack-in-the-box. Very talented, right? Like I said, Bobby did a, a great job explaining this to these guys. And hopefully now they can understand and see his vision. I mean, a lot of these guys are different, but a lot of them are alike in the same, you know, way. So we're going to see how it's all going to go, man. I cannot wait to finally see all these guys in the booth together as one. It's coming, y'all. It's coming. But this episode, man... They spent the entire episode on this boat. And I wonder how the filming went for the episode. I mean, they didn't really have to change a lot of different, you know, locations. It was all in set in one place. So probably was not that difficult for them to do this actual episode. But I'm glad that it, it did happen, that this whole beef thing can finally be moved to the past. And now we can get the future. We can get the creation, you know what I'm saying, of this legendary group, Wu-Tang. But you guys let me know, man, what do you think about episode four? It was an okay episode for me, just more of a build-up episode, an episode where Bobby had to come and pretty much squash this beef with it all his boys. But um, I will continue to break down these videos for you guys. We have episode five next week. I cannot wait to see it. But thank you guys for all the love, all the support, and I will catch y'all on the next one. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.